of articles in the last six months that have come out. Okay. Uh, I guess what we might call butch lesbians. Oh. We're complaining uh -huh. about the same dynamic. Welcome to God level. Your access has been granted. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Shamans, Jay Netta, hell of a editor, Ron Predator. Shout to 10K, gang, you in here before 10K. Need you to go ahead and snuff, snuff that like button. Genuinely appreciate you taking time out your busy day, work, home, life, family, to spend time with little old me. I appreciate you. On the menu today, we got a few appetizers. That main course, you have studs. Lesbian studs who generally play the masculine position in a lesbian relationship. You have lesbian studs who are getting tired of the women for the same reasons that men complain about. You really, really can't make this up. Let's get to it. Women are very good at manipulating and nine times out of 10, you're not the only one. Really, nigga? Damn, you ain't the only one. Is that from yeah. experience? For sure. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we got some real ones in the house animal. today. When you ignore a woman, it tells her one thing. It tells her psychologically, and even if you're low value or high value, it doesn't matter. It tells the woman psychologically, hey, only a guy who is high value, only a guy who has things going for him technically would be able to walk away from me like this. Only a guy who is high value or prestigious is willing to ignore me. You start to frame that psychological what if factor in her head. The worse I treated women, the more they liked me. Now let me make the caveat. It was called worse. What it really was is I was treating women like a man treats a woman. Real quick, I had to stop it right there. I agree 100% with what the godfather Kevin Samuels is saying on this one. It's not so much that they like the bad guys. It's more so that they like a man that's willing to or capable of taking the lead, being assertive, and not being a pushover. These are things that are usually associated with bad boys. What I was doing, I wasn't being a simp. I was standing up, I was saying what I wanted, was not making any qualifying statements. You know, not beating around the bush. If it was my way at a highway, you lucky to be around me, this is what I want out of the world. Next thing you know, she went, she became everything I ever wanted her to be in a girlfriend. After I started being a jerk to her. Ah! A cocky, intelligent, and arrogant. There have been a couple of articles in the last six months that have come out. Okay. Uh, I guess what we might call butch lesbians. Oh. We're complaining uh -huh. about the same dynamic. <laughs> really? Yes. They're complaining about the lack of affection. They're complaining about being taken for granted. They're being they're complaining about having to protect and provide in relationships with other women and not and they're not being any kind of reciprocation that meets their sense. It's an interesting dynamic. I find it quite interesting as he's saying that when they try to escape men, right? So now they're dating a woman who's still technically playing the man's role in their relationship, the woman that's playing the man's role is getting to see what us men deal with. And it's real eye-opening that even they're annoyed by it. That's like very, very telling. And it's also very interesting that even they're annoyed by it, by the nagging, the fussing that some women do. And you have women who are supposed you know, replacing men in certain dynamics and acting out what we would call a traditional male role, they're complaining about the same things that men have complained about. Wow. This is a female fantasy. This is a woman in an idolized, pure form of beauty before she gets wrecked by the world, and she gets to take the most psychopathic, narcissistic, beastly guy, literally, and she gets to turn him into a man, and by loving her, he is made into a human being. It led to what I call Disney prince and princess archetype, which is that's the modern archetype today where the girl, she has a checklist of 25 things that she wants a man to be, and she's checking off boxes. And then as she gets to 30, she hits the wall, 35, that list gets shorter and shorter. A female client of mine, I've known her now for seven years. So her list, when I met her, she was 30. It was this running list of, I want a good Christian man, and he looks like this, and he's really tall and really attractive, and he's gonna treat me this way. I want him to make this much, and this is what I'd like my house to look like, and I already mentioned my wedding's gonna be, and this went on and on and on, on. You get the idea. You wanna know her list is today, last time I talked to her? I just want somebody that's nice to me. 
I'm, I'm dead serious. That's your list. I just I just want to meet someone that just is, is nice to me. That was All right, that was the end of the video. Listen, they always end up wanting someone that's just nice to them in the end. Once life shows you that you can't get what you want, you're not capable of getting or attracting what you want, you will then adapt. You'll adapt to what you can get. And at that point, she'll be able to get something nice. Now, even the thing with the, you know, with the with the lesbians and how they're not even able to handle women. Homie said enough. I think the proof is in the pudding. It's like y'all getting this taste of your own medicine. You're fighting fire with fire in a weird way, right? I don't know. Y'all let me know if that makes sense or if not, let's talk about it in the comment section. If you're rocking out with your boy, go ahead and click on the next video in the lineup. Shout to 10K gang and always remember... Our level is God level, y'all level is our level, get on our level, you God level.